everybody. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so, a lot of people this year are having Christmas parties. I know it's the time. It's, and the, it's that time of the year. It's that magical season. This is the year after the COVID. Well, I mean, we still got it going around. Oh, yeah. But, but I think a lot of people are really getting getting out, even though there is that Omicron thing out there. Um, Another I, variant. I still think people are getting out. and They're getting um, together. Getting and together. And it's the holidays. And Mo and Deb are cooking for the holidays. So tonight we're getting together and we're doing some things for... Um, a Christmas gathering that I'm having this weekend with my family, and then when's yours? Your um, family well, next weekend. Uh, we'll have Christmas Day. Okay. Um, and we're so you got a couple, we got a couple things. things going, but Christmas Day is usually our big day. Well, tonight this is a favorite, and y'all probably a lot of y'all probably make these already. I'd say sausage balls. And there is so many ways to make them. Yeah, we just so many variations. We just <laughs> discovered that Deb and I we have two do. Different two different <laughs> techniques on sausage balls. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> um, so Deb does not brown her sausage before she... My recipe does. is sausage, um, cheese, and uh, bisquick. Okay. Uh, I don't brown the uh, sausage ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I pour, I put those three ingredients in a, pan, a bowl. Roll them in. Use your hands to get them, them all mixed the up. Put, roll them in balls. Mm -hmm. Make them. Okay. That's my sausage balls. So Mo's recipe is a little different. It's the same ingredients and even the same measurements, but I browned my sausage first. And so Debbie was kind enough to go to, we have a place up on um, the mountain up from our house that they make their own sausage. And it's called Dobbins, right? Dobbins Supermarket. Dobbins Supermarket. They make their Listen, own sausage. Listen, no, no, this is... They have a cash register that they actually punch in the uh, price of every oh, item. Yeah. They still have <laughs> that's, that. Yes, that's I what they love do. Love it. That's you know uh, that's a thing. I'm gonna start shopping there. So the, it's a whole, it's a regular store. grocery store, uh -huh. and and she, the lady picks up the item and punches into the so cash register. So they have little labels on there. It says what yes, it costs. Yes, they do. There's a little label. Well, thank you. Already thrown mine away. I bet you didn't know there was a place like that. <laughs> Land. It's antiquated, but it's well. Anyway, <laughs> I, we don't mean to keep y'all all night, but <laughs> but this sausage has been browned. There is virtually no grease in this sausage, y'all. It is it is just wonderful. So Debbie grated up eight ounces of sharp, extra sharp cheddar extra cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Right. So we're gonna add that to it while it's still warm. All right, I'm gonna go tilt this camera down so they can watch. Now, how much bisquick do we need? Three cups? Well, I saw recipes that said three cups, and I saw some that say four. Well, well, I we're don't using like mine three. very dry, Debbie. I don't either. So, let's do... Do let's we have the bisquick the out? This is the cheese and the sausage. So, so will it be all the way melty? It when we... If it's still hot enough. Yeah, it's melting. It's looking good. It's smelling good. Yeah, um, there is so many different variations. We're also going to add a little bit of, it's a Pizza Hut. Look, Pizza Hut gave Mo a crushed red pepper in a little container. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Yeah, also. so crushed red pepper. We always got the little packages when we bought our pizza. Uh -huh. Recently, we had a pizza, and they gave us this. So they, they are... Um, I guess because of COVID, you know. Oh, I don't yes, know. Maybe. I don't know what that has to do with that, though. Should I just estimate? Or yeah. You just put a, it <laughs> does it have does. a bite, so I probably wouldn't do a whole lot. I'm just going to guess. I'm not going to eat them, so. <laughs> no, Somebody else is going to be eating these. No, you know I take it back. I might take a taste. Gerald and I had a friend back in the day. We still have this friend. He's still alive. <laughs> because this episode didn't kill him. But what he did was he took a handful. We were eating pizza at a pizza place, but we were in our early 20s. And he took a handful of those crushed red peppers. I mean, just full like this. Oh, no. And he went. No. And he started eating it. Did he know they were hot? He yes. did it on purpose? Yes. Oh, yes, he did. But he, he did that. And, I mean, it was like. Was he it dying? Was hot. Yeah, he oh, was dying. Goodness. But he didn't die. He lived. Wow. You know the person. I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add three. I went ahead and took this out of the box. Three cups of biscuit. Hmm. 
You want me to add them all at once or just little by little? Um, I'll be stirring while you're pouring. Okay, there's one. One. This is not the most ideal way to do this, I don't think, but anyway. I bet everybody has the sausage balls. Just um, <laughs> Sausage balls is a good thing for a, a Christmas morning breakfast. Oh, yes. We love to take them to work. Actually, I'm going to do that with these in the morning. Take we have a staff work. meeting. Oh. They will love me forever, right? So, am I going to have to go in with my hands? Or right will a spoon oh. mix it up good? I think a spoon will mix okay. it. Okay. I'll just keep mixing then. So, you see it looks really dry. But, but it's going it's to... It's not going to be dry forever. No. And really, if you have a greasier sausage, it seems like it does um, incorporate a little bit that. better. Uh, but you know, even with even if we were making these with sausage not cooked yet, mm -hmm. it still takes a little bit to get it all yeah, incorporated because you're doing it with your hands at that cat and yeah. that case. But now we are going to use our hands to make the balls, so yes, we can. Yes. If it's not mixed in good, we can always do that with our mix hands. it a little bit more. Um, do you serve anything with this? Do you have, um, you know, a mustard sauce or mustard even? Do you put anything with them? You know what? I don't. I just pop them in my mouth and go. <laughs> what about y'all? Do y'all serve anything with your I, sausage balls? I have a you really good anything? mustard sauce that I'm going to try to make, and maybe we'll put it out that online. That sounds good. But, okay, what do you think? I, mean, I think it's ready good to, to go. start. Yeah, I'm going to bring this pan over here. Okay. So we're gonna just make these into balls. Turn them into balls. Roll okay, them into balls. Okay, they're not too hot. I was afraid it's gonna be too hot. No, I not. think we've let them sit long. Do you like this size or? Oh yeah, about that size. Okay. Let's see. Put a few out. Listen to my cat. He's like. He smells it. I bet. I smell don't smell sausage <laughs> balls. And you can put them close together on this thing because they're, they're not gonna get bigger, no, or they're they? not gonna. Not gonna rise. I like to make some a little bit smaller though. But you know, if you make them too small, they dry out, don't they? Yeah. Have you ever had them to probably, dry out like that? Oh yeah, definitely. They need to be about the same size so that they'll cook the same amount. Right. Anyway, so they're quite yummy. I can't wait to taste these. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll these into balls. We'll be well, right back. Well, I was gonna say, what do we cook these at? Oh, we're gonna cook them at 350 for 15 minutes about 15? I don't think 15 maybe 12 10, 12 we'll check them at 12 okay be right back right. okay guys we oh, have pulled our <laughs> pulled our sausage balls out of the oven <laughs> here they be they're done they're done what do you think they look amazing they look amazing we are going to try one and see what we think uh, I think I already know. I've got one cooling. <laughs> okay, this one's a little hot, so I'm gonna cut it in half. They're so, um, browned. And th how long and how long did it take? So we we took we baked them for about 14 minutes. 14 minutes yeah. at three three twenty five. Mmm. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're not too dry. Mm -mm, not at all. You can really taste the cheese. Um, I love that too. I do too. Yeah, we use extra sharp cheddar. I think it really makes them good. And then they do have a little bit of a kick to them because we added the peppers, the crushed red pepper. But you can actually use hot sausage instead of mild mm -hmm. if you want to and leave the peppers out. And that would still give you your spiciness. Mm. I can't no, wait to have I'm another one. I know. <laughs> We're going to get off here and eat the rest of these. No, not really. <laughs> Maybe another Maybe one another or two. Maybe another one. Maybe another one. So, um, y'all try this recipe. It's really good. It's easy and quick. And your um, any party that you take these sausage balls to or any breakfast that you take them to, people are going to love you for it. Yep. So, it's going to be a hit. Give it a try. Be a big old <laughs> hit. See y'all later. Bye.